Hey, hello friends and welcome to Retro Portal Studio and in this video we're going to be taking a look at creating this awesome spin circle bottom bar in Flutter. You can see that when I click on this center button, the spin circle expands and when I click on this button again, the spin circle closes. And along with this, you can also see that there is a multi-layer effect to the spin circle which basically adds to the design. And along with this, you have all these bottom bar items that you can click on and do whatever you like. The code for creating such a bottom bar is a bit complex. So instead, what I have done is I've created a package that you can directly import into your own applications and use this in whatever way you like. There are a lot of customizations that you can add. You can change the colors of all these layers and you can add as many icons as you want in the circle and also in the bottom bar. So let's take a look at how to use that package. And if you want to learn how to create this from scratch, I'll be linking an article in the description below so that you can understand this in a much better way. With this, let's move forward and take a look at how you can add this to your own Flutter applications. Okay, so right now I'm in a simple Flutter app in which I just have this my homepage. And in this, I have a scaffold which has an app bar and a body which has a center. So the first thing for using this spin circle bottom bar is that we have to go to the pubspec.yml file. And here in the dependencies, you have to add spin circle underscore bottom underscore bar package. And this is currently at version 1.0.0. And once you have added this package, you can just click on pub get. And once the package is added, you can just close this pubspec.yml file. Now what we need to do is we need to come down to the body of this scaffold. And here we can start using the package that we added to our application. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to add some content to the screen. So I'll replace this center with a container. And in this container, I'll give it a color of gray with an alpha of 100. And with this, I'll give a child to the container. And here, I'll add a center widget. And in this, I'll add a text that says Retro Portal Studio. Now, to add the spin circle bottom bar to your application, what you need to do is you need to wrap the main content of your screen with a spin circle bottom bar holder. So in this, what I'll do is I'll wrap the container with a new widget. And this widget will be called spin circle bottom bar holder. This holder is given to us by the spin circle bottom bar package and this spin circle bottom bar holder requires another property that is called bottom navigation bar. And this bottom navigation bar requires a value of type SC bottom bar details. With the help of this, you'll be giving all the details that you want to show in the bottom bar that we'll be adding to the application. So now I'll add in the property of bottom navigation bar and for this I'll give it a value of SC bottom bar details. For now, I'll just minimize this emulator. And here you can see that the SC bottom bar details requires items and circle items. These items are the ones which you want to display on the bottom bar and the circle items are the ones that you want to display in the expandable circle. For the items what we need to do is we need to pass in a list and the list will be of SC bottom bar item. In this list what we can do is we can pass in the instances of SC bottom bar item. So what I'll do is I'll add an instance. And each instance of SC bottom bar item requires an icon and an on pressed. Along with this, you can also pass in a property of title and an active icon. For now, I'll stick with the icon and on pressed. For the icon, I'll pass in an icon of icons.verifiedUser. And for the on pressed, I'll pass in an empty function. You can add as many items as you want in this items list, but my recommendation is to add four items. And if you want more items, you can add them in an even count. For example, you can add four items, six items, or eight items, so that the bottom bar can be divided in the middle. For now, what I'll do is I'll copy this item and add multiple copies of this. For the second item, I'll change the icon to the supervised user circle. And for the third item, I'll change that to notifications. And for fourth, I'll change that to details. Now, for the circle items, we need to pass in a list of SC item. You can see that the items requires a list of SC bottom bar item and the circle items requires a list of SC item. Both these classes are given to us by the SC bottom bar package. So what I'll do is I'll come to this list down here and I'll add an SC item. And this item also requires an icon and on pressed. So the big difference is here in the SC bottom bar item, you are passing only the icon data, but here you need to pass in the icon widget. So in the icon widget, I can now pass in the icon. So for the first, I'll add in the icon of add. And for the on pressed function, I'll pass in an empty function. I'll copy this item and add two more copies for this. And I'll change the icons of the other two items. For adding the default spin circle bottom bar, you need to pass in only these two properties. At this point, if I start the app, 
and go to the device, you can see that the default spin circle bottom bar is added to the application. And when I click on the center button, the circle expands. And when I click on the button again, the circle goes back. Now, let's take a look at the customizations that we can add to this bottom bar. All the customizations will be added to these SC bottom bar details. So the first customization that we're going to be taking a look at is the bottom bar height. For that, what we can do is we can come down to this SC bottom bar details. And here we can add BNB height. The default height of this bottom bar is set to 80. So you can change this to 150 or any other number that you want. At this point, if I run the app and go to the emulator, you can see that the height of the bottom bar changes. And accordingly, the width of the spin circle also changes. So you can add as much height as you want for the bottom bar and the spin circle will set its radius accordingly. For now, what I'll do is I'll set the height back to 80. And the next thing that we can do is we can set the background color of this bottom bar. For this, I'll pass in the value of colors.deeporangeaccent and run the app. And now if I take a look at the device, you can see that the background color of the bottom bar is changed. Along with this, we can also change in the color of the layers of this spin circle. At this point, the colors are blue and red and we can simply change these by adding in the property of circle colors. So what I'll do is I'll come up to the SC bottom bar details and here I'll add the property of circle colors and you can see that this requires a value of list of colors. And the order of the colors you pass moves from front to back. So the first color that we add will be the color of the frontmost circle that we see. So for this I'll pass in the color of colors.white. For a second I'll pass in the color of colors.orange. And for third, I'll pass in the color of colors.red accent. Now you can see that the color of circle layers is now changed to white, orange, and red. The next thing that we can do is we can also customize some properties of this center button. So for that, what I'll do is I'll add in the property of action button details. And this requires a value of SC action button details. So I'll pass in the value of SC action button details. And this requires a value for color, icon, and elevation. For the color of the center button, I'll pass in the value of colors.red accent. For the icon, I need to pass an icon widget. And in this, I'll set the icon to icons.expand less. For the elevation, I'll set the value to zero. And if I run the app, you can see that the color, icon, and elevation of the center button is changed accordingly. For now, I'll set the background color of this bottom bar to colors.white. And we'll take a look at how to add title and customizations to these icons so that we have a different icon for inactive and active items. The first thing that I'll do is I'll add in the text property to this SC bottom bar items that we added to the items list. So for each item, I'll pass in the title property. For the first, I'll set it to users, details for the second, notifications for the third, and new data for the fourth. Now if I run the app and look at the device, you can see that we have added text to each of the tab in the bottom bar. And when we select an item, you can see that the icon and text of the active tab are different from the icons and text of the inactive tabs. All these customizations can be done by using four properties of this SC bottom bar details. You can pass in the icon theme, which will be used for the inactive items. And you can separately pass in the active icon theme, which will be then used if the item is active. And same goes for the title property. All these properties are optional and if you don't pass any one of them, the UI will adjust accordingly. So for now what I'll do is I'll add the icon theme and this requires a value of type icon theme data. So for this I'll pass in icon theme data and here I'll pass in the color and this will be colors.black45. I'll also add the active icon theme and here I'll pass in icon theme data and for the active item I'll change the color to colors.orange. For the titles, what I can do is I can add in the title style property and this requires a value of type text style. So for this, I'll pass in text style and for inactive items, I'll keep the color to colors.black45 and I'll keep the font size to 12. For the active text style, I'll pass in a text style with the color of colors.orange and a font size of 12. Along with this, I'll also change the font weight for the selected title. I'll set the font weight to font weight.bold. Now, if I run the app and take a look at the device, you can see that the color of the icon and title of the selected item is orange, and all the other items have the color of black 45. And when I select the other tabs, the properties change accordingly. Now you have seen 
that the spin circle bottom bar gives you with a number of properties that you can use to customize this according to your own application needs. And if you have any other customizations in mind, make sure to leave them in the comment section below so that if possible, I can add them to this package also. I hope you'll find good use of this package in your own Flutter applications and if you do, make sure to support this package on PubDev also. On the PubDev page for this package, you can also find in the example code and you can also check in the GitHub repository and take a look at how this package actually works. I hope you find this video useful and if you do, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and also consider supporting me on Patreon for more Flutter videos coming your way on Retro Portal Studio. See you next time. Peace.